What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Public Land Hunting Outdoors. Today we're going to go through some of my favorite squirrel guns. I got about six or seven I like to squirrel hunt with. Now I have some 12 gauge shotguns, pumps, and other rifles that you could squirrel hunt with. Um, like my 22 Magnum, just too powerful. Don't want to squirrel hunt with that one, but you could just with headshots. 12 gauge, it's okay. I do it every now and then, but um, shotguns are going to stick with 410s. 20 gauges and 16s and rifles and pistols gonna stick with 22s so anyway let's get busy i'm i've got three favorites i'll start off with my one of my favorites and then i'll end up with my two favorites at the end so let's get busy this right here is a thompson center contender i got this gun in 1979 um i think i paid like 169 dollars for it Came with a 22 octagon barrel. This is a 45 Colt 410 barrel. I love to score hunt with this gun, but it's limited to about 20, 25 yards. I do have a video on this pattern testing it from last year, so check that out. I'll post it right up there probably. Um, awesome gun though to score on rabbit hunt with. I also have a 22 barrel for it. Like I said, this is the first one I got for it. It's 22 octagon, 10 inch, has a red dot. I don't take this as much, um, but I like using it. It's really good if you're in thick quarters, close range with that red dot. It's actually probably a little better rabbit gun, walking around and shooting rabbits sitting on the ground. Um, but I like to squirrel hunt with this every now and then. Awesome little setup. I also, for the TC contender, have a bull barrel. This is a 10 inch bull barrel. It has a um, three power Cytron scope on it. Love the Cytron scopes on it. This thing is deadly accurate. It's more accurate than I am. I can really hit a squirrel in the head. No problem, out to 50 yards, probably more. Um, both these 22 barrels love CCI mini mag, solids. Awesome round. That's probably my favorite round to score hunt with out of a 22 long rifle. Um, but that's one of my favorites right there. Now, going to my next one. This is a 22 made by Marlin. You don't see, you see a lot of Marlin 22 bolt actions. But this one you don't see as much of it's the 81 ts like i said it's bolt action it's two fed you put them in right there see if it'll focus on that put them in right there but what's unique about this marlin is this tube handles shorts longs and long rifles which you can't get longs anymore um, but if you want to be quiet don't want the bullet to go as far shorts are legal here in north carolina i don't use them that much except under specialized conditions 22 cci mini mags is what i use mostly in this this has a four power and scope um, just like the tc contender this thing's more accurate than i am this is one awesome little squirrel gun these are inexpensive but to me the micro groove barrels in marlin they will outshoot a ruger 22 straight out of the box i know you can make those more accurate with the big fat heavy bull barrels um, but this is all you need right there squirrel hunting with a 22 rifle Next one I got for you, this is the RWS Spring Piston Air Gun. I got this one in 1988. This one shoots about 1,000 feet per second. It's 17 caliber. I shoot uh, RWS Super Domes in it and Super Points in it. The Super Domes are a little more accurate. I shoot the Super Points for hunting. They penetrate better, um, but either one works for hunting. I have a BSA 2x7 scope on it. Um, like I said, this is a spring piston air gun, so you cock it, load the pellet in the breech right here, pull it back. It's got the safety right here. Awesome gun. You just don't want to never dry fire one of these. This one shoots, I may have said it, but a thousand feet per second. Got it in 1988, like I said. Some of the new ones shoot a lot faster, but a thousand feet per second is plenty fast. Uh, it's a lot faster than the pump air guns. But anyway, I love hunting with this. Awesome gun right here. Let's go to the next one. This next one's kind of a unique shotgun. It's a bolt action. 
um, which they used to make a lot of bolt action shotguns back in I think the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, but what's unique about this one is it's tube fed as well, like a 22 is. Um, some of the Marlins, I don't know if you can see that good right there. Yep, you can. I think it's three shots. You can have one in the chamber, two in the tube, bolt action, safety's right there. This is a Savage 59B, shoots three inch magnums. I do squirrel hunt most of the time with shotguns, and nine out of ten times it was six shot. Um, in the 410, it's definitely going to be three inch, six shot, or three inch, five shots. Awesome little gun, but you got to know its limitations. Um, but let's get to the next one. Okay, guys, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. My favorite. This isn't my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. My favorite way to squirrel hunts with shotguns. People say, well, why do you do that? I mean, you tear up a lot of meat. Well, no, you don't tear up a lot of meat if you just don't shoot them point blank range. If one comes up to you and he's too close, you should have shot him before he got closer to you. But anyway, walk up on one. Just let him get a little farther away. If you're stand hunting, sit on the ground and one pops around a tree and he's too close, just let him get a little farther away or back up. I've done that many a times. One of my biggest spot squirrels is right here on the wall. I had to back up on him. Um, he came right up to me. I was actually predator hunting with a call and he came up to the predator call and jumped up a tree and looked at me and I'd already stood up. So I had to back away from him to shoot him because I knew I'd tear him up. But anyway, this is a Savage 311. What is unique about this Savage is it's 20 gauge. It has two full chokes. I don't know if you can see that good that they're full choke. You probably can't tell that. But most double barrel shotguns, if one's full choke, one's modified. If one was modified, the next one may be improved cylinder. If one's improved cylinder, the other one may be cylinder. Um, very rarely do you find them with the same choke. So this is a squirrel getter. You need full chokes for shotguns hunting. I use two and three quarter inch six shot most of the time. I will carry fours and fives and some three inch ones. Um, just in case one's up a 120 foot tall tree, um, you've got to have the power to knock them down or knock them out. One of my favorite guns to hunt with is this Savage Double Barrel right there. Awesome way to hunt. Let's get to the next one. Guys, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. This is probably my second favorite gun to hunt with. This is a Winchester 37A. It's a 16 gauge, 28 inch full choke barrel. Now, I don't think they make any 16 gauges. I don't think I've ever seen them in three inch. Um, I use two and three quarter number six shot. I will use some fives in this gun. Awesome gun to hunt with. It's got the power to reach out and get them. Not as powerful as a 12 gauge, obviously, but you don't need a, that much power squirrel hunting. But love this gun to hunt with. And people, you know, like I said, why do you love to squirrel hunt with shotguns? Well, part of it's necessity. Because here in eastern North Carolina, the leaves stay on the trees a long time. I mean, end of December, you still got leaves on the trees. Plus, we hunt a lot of pines for fox squirrels on the east coast of North Carolina. You know, th those are long needle pines. The needles are about this long. They have the biggest cone as well. Which that's another story um, on a pine on the you know eastern side of North America. But anyway... And the fox squirrels will run a lot, so you need a shotgun. A lot of times you catch them on the ground. Plus, these single shot shotguns have a thin receiver. Uh, they're thicker on a pump. These are easier to carry. That's why guys a lot of times like shooting 30-30 Winchesters. They can walk around and hold them like that. These guns are just light. I grew up hunting with them, so it brings me kind of back to my youth. Two and three quarter inch chamber, like I said on this one. 28 inch full chuck barrel. Um, this will get them. Awesome way to hunt. This is probably my second favorite gun right here. Right, guys, right here, this is my favorite gun to squirrel hunt with, no doubt. Um, the 16 gauge I just showed you, I said it was my second. You know, that kind of may be a toss up between the first one I showed you and the, and the TC Contender. Um, but this one is no doubt my favorite one to squirrel hunt with. I got this gun in 1977. It's also like the last one I showed you, a Winchester Model 37A. And let's talk about the 37A a minute. Very mass produced shotgun. Most of them were made um, by Winchesters, which was out of Connecticut at the time. Still may be, but these were made in Canada. 
these were the best mass-produced single-shot shotguns, inexpensive ones ever made. A lot of people are going to say, whoa, Mac, what about the Winchester 37? Well, that's a good gun, but I like these better. I've handled and shot some Winchester 37s, but I think the 37A is better. You don't see a lot of these. They go for a good price if you find them on GunBroker. Um, they'll go for $300 easy. But anyway, this is my favorite. It's a 20 gauge, 26 inch full chuck barrel. It's light. Now I will say this, like I said about the last 16 gauge I just showed you, thin receiver, you can carry it easy walking through the woods. It just handles good, it carries easy. But like I said, um, but the drawback to these guns, besides one shot, but that makes you a better shot shooting them. You gotta make that one shot count. But these are fast to reload if you're used to it. These guns kick like a mule if you have a three inch shell in them. And I do carry three inch number fours and fives in this. If, like I said, in a, and like I said, I want to knock one out of a tall tree. They do kick like a mule. If you ever shoot a buckshot out of one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about or a slug. Uh, but anyway, I do carry an Uncle Mike side saddle on it. Let me see if you can see that better. The shell holders right there. What that is for makes it easier to get them in and out of there. I will use that on my 16 gauge as well. But let me tell you what I also do with this when I'm squirrel hunting. If it's deer season coinciding with my squirrel season, I have a buckshot right here. And I got it open where I'm sitting on a bucket, sitting on the ground or whatever, or walking. If I see a squirrel, I'll take the buckshot out, throw the squirrel shot in there. Squirrel's not as wary as the deer, so you can do that easy. If you had the squirrel shot in there, and then you saw a deer, well, he's probably already running anyway if you're walking around. So you need the buckshot in there, close it quick, shoot them. Um, but that's what I like. That's my favorite gun to squirrel hunt with. Winchester Model 37A 20 gauge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you didn't like or what you did like. Um, tell me what your favorite squirrel gun is. Also, check out my blog. I'll put a link to that in the description. I got some squirrel blog posts on that or where I've killed some fox squirrels on that. I've also got some squirrel videos. There's a couple on this channel, but I've got some squirrel videos on my Max Extreme River Fishing channel. I'll post a link to that as well. I just decided to put all my hunting videos on this one channel and keep that one more fishing. But anyway, guys, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. It's right there. And I'll see everybody next time, hopefully in the woods. Woo!